concentrate. These vampires are becoming a real... If you need potions, head over to Angeline's Speak aromatics. with Legate Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. Controlling the Pale gives Ulfric a port town and takes the pressure off of Windhelm. But it's only a matter of time before it's back in our hands. We need to stem the flow of silver to the Rebellion. Until we retake the Reach, the Stormcloaks will plunder its mines to fund further violence. We will oust Ulfric from Windhelm soon enough, and when we do, I'll have his head on a plate. Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. Ulfric will want to take Whiterun from us, but we will hold fast. We can't give the Rebellion free reign through the center of Skyrim. Ulfric's Stormcloak's head rolling away from his lifeless body. The Legion's always been here. Without us to keep order, the provinces would fall into barbarism and lawlessness. Especially Skyrim. Take, for example, Ulfric Stormcloak and his little rebellion. But rest assured, his days are numbered. I'm originally from Cyrodiil, sent here at the request of the Emperor himself. I'm often ordered to places with problems that need fixing. Now, while I'm certain this is all terribly interesting to you, I have important matters to attend. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. The Ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his call. In the ancient tongue, you are Dova King. Dragon Bo
There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Thanks for wasting my time. Someone there?
to get some beer every now and then.
Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Excellent. I'll start translating it. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. Until next time. Divine smile on you, friend. What do you need? Of course. What room would you like me to furnish? I'm sorry, but you can't afford that right now. Yes? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Nice weather for a ride. Hope it lasts.
change has swept into solitude, like a breeze off the ocean. The Thieves' Guild has come. Everything's all right. Thanks again. Tell me again why I'm wasting men chasing after You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. If Ulfric gets his hand Can't on wait. that kill another Welcome back, soldier. Warriors. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. Keep an In eye joining the trouble. Legion, it's you'll be taking an oath time. binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Are you prepared to make that commitment? Well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great empire. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. Long live the Emperor, long live the Empire. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Speak to Baron. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legate Ricca has a special assignment for you. Can't wait to kill him. Why I'm wasting men chasing after a fairy tale. If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, it won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the Moot chose the king. We're backing Elisif. When the Moot meets, they'll do the sensible thing. Not everyone's agreed to the Moot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the Jagged Crown would be a potent symbol for his cause to rally around. But if we found it first... And we gave it to Elisif. In the absence of the moot, it would further legitimize her claim. Perhaps. I'm entrusting you with what resources I can spare. But I'm warning you, if this turns out to be a waste of time and men... It won't be a waste. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. You can send him back when you get there and find nothing but old bones and cobwebs. The Stone Fist's no fool. He's found the crown, but we'll get to it first. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. A legendary crown, dating back to King Harald's time, or before. A powerful relic of a golden age, long since past. Legend has it that the crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and is said to increase the power of the wearer. Whatever the truth, if Ulfric gets his hands on it, it would be a powerful symbol around which to rally support for his cause. Well, to be frank, we don't. Its location was lost with King Borgus, when the Great Hunt killed him off while on his Lushan campaigns. Supposedly, his body was brought back to Skyrim and secretly buried with the crown. Knowledge of that location was lost in the Wars of Secession. But my agents report that Galmar is pretty damn convinced Corvin June is the tomb of King Borgus. I know Galmar. We fought in many wars together. He's not a sentimental man taken to fancy. If he believes the crown is there, he's likely found it. I am a loyal citizen of the Empire. My parents were legionnaires. 
and I've followed in their footsteps. But more importantly, I am a daughter of Skyrim, and wish to see her made whole again. I've been a daughter of Skyrim all my life. I love this land, and her people. So do all the Nords that serve the Empire. Ulfric, too, once. He wasn't always a self-serving egomaniac. He fought in the Imperial Army in the war against the Dominion. But Ulfric and his Stormcloaks are deluding themselves. If there's any hope of a long-term victory against the Dominion, it's in the Empire. The Rebels are only inflaming the tension and weakening the Empire by distracting it from its ultimate aim. I consider this conversation over. If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron and... Off the coast a ways to the east, you'll find the wreck of the Brine Hammer. Never know what treasures may still be aboard. Hmm? I know your kind. Always sneaking about. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Hey, yep. I just have one question for you. Light, medium, or heavy? All right. This here is enough to keep your insides from spilling out. Except from the fiercest of blows. And shouldn't weigh you down too much. Now that's it. One free outfit per soldier. You lose that, or get it banged up. You'll need to pay like everyone else. Return any time you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Looking to protect yourself, or deal some damage? Keep safe, and always wear your armor. You're that one from the college. Heard about you.
What's the situation? Stormcloaks were already camped out around the entrance when we got here. They don't know we're here yet, though. Well, that's something, at least. Looks like the damned rebels got here first. No matter. We have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. Follow me. Listen up, Legionnaires. Those Stormcloaks are here for the same reason we are. Ulfric, the Pretender, wants that crown, but we're not going to let him have it. I realize some of you may know men on the other side, but remember this. They are the enemy now and will not hesitate to end your lives either. General Tullius is counting on us to bring back the Jagged Crown, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's show these rebels what real soldiers look like. Well done. They never knew what hit them. But don't underestimate the Stormcloaks. Many are Legion veterans. They may be traitors, but they know how to fight. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but don't expect it to last. Let's move out! and guard the entrance. We don't want any Stormcloak reinforcements taking us by surprise. Everyone else, with me. I don't like the look of this. Perfect spot for an ambush.
ten to one, they're just waiting for us on the other side. But there isn't any other way through, Legate. Let's not jump to conclusions, soldier. The Legion always finds a way. I'd rather take a moment and look around than walk blindly into an ambush. Auxiliary, see if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting. The Stormcloaks are here in the forest. Maybe you can find a way through somewhere above us. Stormcloaks are here in force. Stick close and follow orders so we don't stir up the whole place again. dead for a hundred years. Steady now. The Legion has faced down worse than a few dusty old bone walkers. We're not leaving here until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving. of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover. One thing at a time, soldier. Focus on our primary mission. We're searching for the crown. <laughs> Looks like we weren't the first ones here, either. Hmm, what is that? Some kind of stone claw?
I wonder what it's used for. Legionnaires, spread out and see what we've got. Auxiliary, do what you do best. See if you can find some way to get that gate open. should be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. Crown back to solitude, soldier.
least we got the damn crown. I hope it was worth it. Staying safe, I hope. Taking control of the rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. I fear losing Falkreath may give too much advantage to Ulfric. The Rebels now control access to the Reach, Whiterun, and the Rift. I want it back. Excellent work, soldier. I have to admit, I had my doubts it even existed. Did you run into any trouble? Yes. Well, I didn't respond as quickly to the Legate's suggestion as perhaps I should have. But at least we ended up with the damn crown. Now then, I need someone I can trust to deliver a message of great import to Jarl Balgruf of Whiterun. We have it on good authority that Ulfric has raised enough men to attack the city of Whiterun. Jarl, however, refuses the Legion's support. This missive should convince him. Be aware, soldier. These documents contain sensitive intelligence for the Jarl's eyes only. Have your orders, soldiers. 